Hi everybody, I'm going to do a screencast on how to create something like a Eureka Math problem set in Seesaw. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, I'm in Seesaw, I'm going to press add and assign activity. I've already made one of these, um, but I'm going to have to edit it in order to make it for the next lesson. So I'm going to go to my Seesaw library and I'll just create it from scratch. That way you can see how to do it from scratch. All right, so normally I could um, go into an assignment I've already made and I could say, I could go to the three dots that are at the bottom and I could go to these three dots down here at the bottom and say copy and edit activity. But I'll show you how to do it from scratch so that you can make your own from scratch in the future. Okay, so back to my library. I'm going to create new activity. I'm going to call this Eureka Math Lesson 3 problem set. That's the one I'm working on today. And I'm going to write watch the video and complete the problem set. All right, so there's my instructions. So I'm going to add multimedia instructions. This is where I can put a link to a video, either a video I've created or a video that I found on YouTube. I found a great guy, Dwayne Halbecker, and he's out of the Pleasanton, Pleasanton School District, and he's made a lot of really cool Eureka videos. Um, he has a whole grade one module four playlist for all the lessons, I'm guessing. And so I'm going to link his video to my kids. All right. So here is Eureka Math module four, lesson three. Here's Dwayne. He's going to start talking to me about math. It's going to be great. But I'm going to go to share at the bottom of his video. I'm going to copy the link. And now that I've copied that link, I'm going to go back to Seesaw and Seesaw is going to show me the screen, waiting for it to load. All right. Now well, it lost everything that I wrote in there. So I'm just going to go down to add multimedia instructions link. I'm going to put the link in for Mr. Haubecker's video. Click the green check to say, yep, that's the one I want. Go back now and I'll say Eureka Math Lesson 3. Type my instructions again. Watch the video and complete the problem set. All right, so now here's the fun stuff. I need to add a template for my student responses and um, I'm going to use the drawing template. I am going to add into this drawing template a screenshot uh, from the PDF of the lesson that I want to get the problem set for. So I like to go over to engagenewyork.org. Um, the lessons are in one PDF, so I can look at the whole lesson and then select the parts of the problem set that I want to put into my student response template. So I'm going here to Engage New York, saying View PDF. I've got my Lesson 3 PDF here. It's going to load. All right. So just to make this a little easier to see, I'm going to go full screen here. Here is my Lesson 3 for Eureka. There's the lesson for the teachers. And here's the first page of the problem set. So I don't need the name or the date. Um, in order to do this, you'll need to use the selective screenshot on my Chromebook. It's going to be Control-Shift. 
and then uh, window select, which is one of those small buttons at the very top of the keyboard. Mine is the one above the number six key. So I hit control shift and this uh, window select um, function key. And now I've turned my cursor into a little target and I can select the image that I want to screenshot, which is just this part of the problem set. I let it go. My screenshot was copied. I can come back out of problem. I can come back out of full screen and I've got my screenshot here. I go back into Seesaw, into that drawing template where I was gonna create the student responses. And I'm gonna go, oh, ah, Seesaw. You're killing me, Seesaw, okay. I'm gonna add the template for student responses. I'm gonna go into drawing. I'm gonna go to the camera. I'm gonna click upload. I'm going to upload the file, the screenshot file that I just saved to my computer. It's right there at the top. I'm going to open that. All right, so I've got the screenshot in my student response template. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to see. And then I'm going to go into the three dots for that um, image that I just pasted in there, and I'm going to hit lock. And what lock does is it means that the students can't pick up that image and drag it around or rotate it or stretch it out um, unless they have the smarts to go into this three dots and click unlock. But hopefully for the first grade, that'll keep them from moving the image itself that I'm putting into the background. So I'm not done yet. That was only page one of the problem set. I'm going to go over here and click add page to my drawing template. I'm going to go back to my PDF of my lesson. And I'm going to screenshot with that selective tool the second page of the problem set. As soon as it loads. All right, so lesson three. And here's the problem set again. This is the second page of the problem set. So this is a little bit bigger than I can really see. I'm going to try to get as much of this in my view as I can. So I did, um, I enlarged the screen to make the files go away. And now I'm going to take my screenshot now that I've used as much of my screen as I can to see the image. All right, so selective screenshot, control shift, window select. This is a matching problem. And then I'll fill in the blank. All right, so that screenshot was taken. I can come out of full screen, go back to Seesaw, hope that it didn't lose everything. If it lost everything, I'm stopping this recording. Starting over again. Come on, Seesaw. Ah, oh, Seesaw lost everything. All right, it's all right. I can start over. I can do the link for Dwayne's video. I can do the drawing template again. Drawing template. I can do upload page. So obviously it would help to have all of these things ready before I start working in Seesaw, if Seesaw is going to be so finicky. All right. There's page one screenshot. And we're going to do add page. We're going to do the page two screenshot. Put that in there. Go back to this page. Make 
this image nice and big. Lock it. Go to page two. Make this image nice and big. And we're going to lock it. Okay to that. So that item's being attached. So I've got my lesson three link on there. I've got my one out of two student response template. I'll rename this one more time to be lesson three. And finally, watch the video and complete the problem set. There we go. Here, we can add some voice instructions. Hopefully that doesn't make it crash. Watch the video and complete the problem set. Save. And that's how you make a Eureka Math problem set activity in Seesaw. Goodbye. I don't know how to stop this thing. I don't know how to stop it. Um, is this X? Is it this? Oh, wait, there it was. Oh, man. Okay.